To move a nation forward, it takes the effort of all stakeholders to come together to plan on its achievements. This initiative made the University of Ibado Alumni Association, Lagos Chapter, to come together with an interactive session with one of its alumnus, Dr. Kadri Obafemi Amzat, who is the Lagos State Deputy Governorship Aspirant of the All Progressive Congress for Lagos State. The interactive program themed Building the Lagos of Our Dream, which was held at Esadu Executive Suite, Olan Rewaju Street, Oregon Ikeja. Present at the interactive section was Sir Remy Omotosho, Dr. Oluyomi Abayomi Fini, as well as distinguished alumni of the University of Ibadan. Open the floor of the interactive section. The citation of the aspiring Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Kadiri Obafemi Amzat, was read. Given his career achievement and his contribution to Lagos State, he is a man of outrageous achievements. Dr. Amzat is a team player who has filled the landline for great volunteer achievement. This explains why his name is not so much in the air for those with little achievement who need loudness to fill the void created by inevitable. Starting his speech, Dr. Obafemi Amzat thanked all Lagosians and Nigerians for voting President Muhammad Buhari for his second term, hinting on how he is the best and right candidate to move the Nigerian project forward. Let me start by First of all, thanking Nigerians for voting again for President Buhari. And you know, I say that not because I'm a member of APC, but I say that because of what I have known. Moving on to the reason for the interactive session, Dr. Kadri Amzat Obafemi gave his blueprint for Lagos State. If eventually he gets elected, he outlined a very detailed project to build a better Lagos. His project outline include sectors like traffic management and transportation, health, education and technology, entertainment and tourism, and a whole lot of bright ideas. Everybody wants something that will make Lagos better. And of course, we have different needs. So we sort of put it on five pillars, which we call E, T-H-E. It stands for traffic management and transportation. We realize that the biggest challenge in Lagos today, or one of the biggest, is traffic management. The age is health and environment. As we know, health is safe, right? And the doctors, the experts, they told us that we are losing generations in our country. We must be very aggressive in primary health care system. Lagos has about 1,019 primary schools. We have about 700, 677 junior and senior secondary schools in Lagos. Now, just to put it in perspective, that is probably this. Interestingly, we have about 1,677,000 people in primary and secondary school in Lagos. Technology is the next, is the fourth industrial revolution in the world. So it, we must be very, very, very big at technology. Interestingly, Entertainment is about 7% of the GDP of Lagos. Unfortunately, that resources, that money don't go to the practitioners. It goes to the pirates. So we must do something in terms of cinemas so that they can you know, harvest from their investment and make it more inclusive in terms of the economy of the state. The question and answer segment gave room for the audience to ask pressing questions that affect them and their immediate environment and how the aspiring deputy governor plans to tackle these issues. The very brilliant and cerebral Dr. Kadri Obafemi Amzat provided useful answers to the questions, expatiating on how he has plans for everyone and every sector. The fathers of the day, Sir Remy Omotosho and Dr. Yemi Fini, as well as the chairman of the University of Ibadan Alumni Association, Lagos Chapter, Dr. Shino Odugbemi, gave their remarks, urging Dr. Obafemi Amzat to continue shining the bright light of UI, University of Ibadan Alumni Association. People make things happen. And the man is coming in and identifying the problem and trying to is a man that can make things happen. Experience, cerebral, energetic, visionary, friendly, accessible, 
We must sell a team. We have the formidable team uh, of uh, Mr. Jide, Mr. Sawolu, and Dr. Ferdi Hamza. I believe that during this group and the uh, team of professionals that we're going to work with, they are going to spin the program. After the successful events, photo section of all were taken with the aspiring deputy governor of Lagos candidate. To uphold and build a better world, we must join hands together to make it happen. A great accolade to the organizers of the interactive section for hosting such an event at a time like this.